Queen Mother pause for a word with Sir Winston Churchill on their way to see the race for the richest prize of the British turf. King George VI and Elizabeth Stakes is run over one and a half miles and is worth nearly £24,000 to the winner. Once again, there's an international field with the Queen's Colt High Velt facing competition from France, Belgium, Ireland and, of course, the great Italian champion Rebo, number five, who's just won three outstanding victories in a month at Milan. WH Carr rides the Queen's entry High Velt, number six. High Velt over on the far side, Rebo on the right, Rebo on the right who's gone to the front now, Rebo taking it up by a length from High Velt, Todre's in third place, Karun in fourth place, and it's Rebo, the Italian champion, this unbeaten horse, racing to the fourth victory in his 14th run of his career, Rebo written by Enrico Camici, striding around now. Rebo had won his 14th straight victory, and a prominent place among the great horses of history. It's Lester Pickett on Park Top from Crozier and Hogarth, running up towards the line. It's Park Top from Hogarth and Crozier at the line. Stintino coming there towards the outside. It's Ortiz Milry for climatization and Stintino, but Milry striking the front now as they race towards the furlong pole. It's Milry being chased by climatization and Stintino. They're racing into the final 150 yards and it's Milry clear of Ortiz. Then comes the climatization and Stintino and racing up towards the line already getting a tremendous reception from the crowd. The Derby winners packed up. It's Milry, the fantastic winner of the King Cup. And then a long way back came King Litton No one Lester. was to know then that the race had ended the careers of both Grundy and Bastino. The official time was just under two and a half seconds faster than any previously recorded for the King George. Grundy's Italian owner, Dr. Carlo Vittadini, would see his horse run only once more, in which he finished a tired fourth. Bastino never ran again. Peter Walwyn ended the season as leading trainer, breaking records for both money won and races won. Pat Edery was leading jockey just four years after winning the Apprentice Championship. Now and his Pawnee's being pressed by Malacard. Then comes Dakota with a good run on the stand side, but it's Pawnee's from Malacard, a one-two for France at the moment. Orange Bay putting in a good run, and Bruni coming there with a strong challenge now. But it's still Pawnee's from Malacard as they race into the final 150 yards. Pawnee's from Malacard, and then comes Orange Bay and Bruni and Dakota right over on the stand side. And Dakota coming there on the stand side with a tremendous challenge, but Pawnee's is going to hold him at the line. Pawnee's the winner from Bruni and Orange Bay. second Orange Bay, then comes Bruni, behind Bruni is Trainer's Seat, then the Minstrel making ground with Crystal Palace, two and a half furlongs to run in the King George VI and Queen Elizabeth Diamond Stakes, and it's Bart Lane being pressed by Orange Bay, here comes the Minstrel unleashing a run towards the right of the picture with Bruni upsides, then Crystal Palace and Excella behind him, 
They're racing towards the furlong pole now, and it's Orange Bay who strikes the front. It's Orange Bay now from the Minstrel Exceller, putting in a great run towards the stand side. It's Orange Bay being tackled by the Minstrel and Exceller, and as they race into the closing stages, it's the Minstrel from Orange Bay and Exceller racing up towards the line. The Minstrel from Orange Bay and Exceller, and as they come to the line, the Minstrel. And it's Gino Sir over on the far side, being pressed now by Sadler's Wells. Then comes Ptolemyo, then on the stand side, Time Charter. It's Gino Sir from Sadler's Wells. Ptolemyo in the centre of the course. Time Charter unleashing a run towards the stand side. It's Gino Sir, they're in the lead. Gino Sir, the leader from Sadler's Wells. And Ptolemyo and Time Charter. Lester Pickett is going to win it again. Gino Sir wins the King Jordan 6th and Queen Elizabeth Diamond Stakes. Second is Sadler's Wells and third is Ptolemyo. And fourth and fifth were Time Charter and Sun Princess, then Daham and Jubilee rather than Luzon Chante and Daham, and behind them Fly Me, behind Fly Me was Magwell, and then Miramar Reef, and last was His Honour, and so the result of the 1984 King George VI and Queen Elizabeth Diamond Stakes. First, number nine, Tino So, owned by Mr. Eric Moller, trained by Jeff Ragg, and written by Lester Piggott. Second was number 18, Sadler's Wells, owned by Mr. Robert Sangster, trained by Vincent de Brown and written by Pat Edry. And third was number 10, Ptolemyo, owned by Mr. Carlo D'Alessio, trained by Luca Kumani. And the stable companion is number two, Moon Madness, written by Tony Ives. Three is Matoto. Michael Roberts, four, Tony Benn from Italy, written by Pat Edery, five, Percy's Lass, Paul Edery, seven, Doyoun, Walter Swinburne, eight, Glacial Storm, Michael Hills, nine, Soft Machine, Dominique Berth, ten, Afwan, written by Willie Carson, we're told that that's the correct pronunciation, and eleven is Silver Lane, written by Tony Cruz, and here's how they're betting at the moment. Coming down to the two furlong pole, Afwan has gone to the front from Doyoun and Percy's last with Almarad coming there strongly now towards the stand side and Matoto coming with him. It's Afwan over on the far side, Matoto on the near side, Afwan on the far side, Matoto producing a tremendous run now, Matoto's gone to the front from Almarad and Tony Ben and Afwan, Matoto with the advantage as they race into the closing stages, it's Matoto from Afwan and Tony Ben as they race towards the line. Matoto wins the King Jordan six and Queen Elizabeth Diamond Stakes. Second was up one, third Tony Bin, four Almorad, five Percy's last. Behind them, Doyoun and then Soft Machine and then Glacial Storm and Silver Lane and last was Moon Madness. And so the result of the 1988 King George the Sixth and Queen Elizabeth Diamond Stakes. First, number three, Matoto, owned by Sheikh Ahmed Al Maktoum, trained by Alex Stewart and written by Michael Roberts. Second was number 10, Afwan, owned by Mr. Sheikh Hamdan Al Maktoum, trained by Major Dick Hearn and written by Willie Carson. And third was the Italian challenger, number four, Tony Bin, owned by Alavamento White Star, trained by Luigi Camici and written by Pat Edery. Fourth was number one, Al Marat. Chris Kin, the second favourite at the moment at 4-1. to one. Suleimani, well, it touched fives, but I think the Frankie Dettori uh, winner into 9-2. to two. Uh, Fives into 9-2. to two. Alamshar, 7-1. to one. Victory Moon, well, it's 12-1 to one bar. Well, it's a very interesting uh, uh, race at the moment. At the moment, Nayef is going to start favourite. He goes in and they're ready. Set for the King George. And racing. 
could even break with the exception of Grandera who drops back about three or four lengths last. And first away is Victory Moon and Isdaham down near the inside. Up there too is a lamb shower in the early stages. They're followed by leadership with a white cap and millenary just behind them. They have trapped a little bit wide as they charge downhill from Bolineric and millenary and they're followed by Chris Kin. Out the back early is Suleimani with Grandera and Falbrav has taken an unusual course. He's gone right to the outside fence under the trees there. Daryl Holland taking an adventurous move in this King George in the first two furlongs. On settling down though and charging down towards Swinley Bottom. It's Isdaham on the inside just a leader from a lamb shower and up there on the outside Nayef and keep an eye up there's Falbrav just passing the camera there on the extreme outside. He's now going to cross over I'd anticipate as they pass the mile. Isdaham though the leader from in second a lamb shower out deeper then as Falbrav still very wide. They're followed by Nayef just behind them from leader ship the white cap from Bolineric and Chris Kin. Victory Moon is behind them and further back in the field Suleimani Warsan then Grandira as they race out of Swinley Bottom and still Falbrav is very wide. Millenary is back towards the rear of the field racing uphill now from Swinley Bottom as they pass the six and it's Falbrav on the far side who's level on the near side with the pacemaker is the hand. They're two or three links to a Lam Shah who lies in third place as they race up past the five further back in the field then is Nayaf is very handy, followed next by Leadership and Bolineric, then on the inside Victory Moon, Chris Kin giving the leader six length start as they race uphill from Suleimani who's tracking him they're followed by Bolineric and further back in the field then is Grandera as they race up now towards the entrance to the home straight and it is to Ham on the inside who's just the leader from Alamshah then in third is Nayev coming there followed by Felbrav under pressure now behind them is Leadership the inside followed by Bolineric and Chris Kin has now taken the outside. Anybody's racing the King George with two furlongs to go. Alam Shah, the Irish Derby winner sprints into the lead. Felbrav is still boxing on, followed then by Isdaham. Nayef is under pressure. Alam Shah's kicked away. They're followed by Suleimani. He's coming from the pack now from Bolineric. Inside the final furlong, Alam Shah. Four links in front. Suleimani is trying hard. He's running behind. And the three-year-old Alam Shah is going to win the King George in brilliant style. Alam Shah wins it by four lengths in second Suleimani, third Chris Kin, followed next by Bolineric and Falbrav and Warshan and they're followed by Snayef and Millenary, then is Dahan behind the victory Moon Grandira and last to finish his leadership. He has upheld the three-year-old's reputations, Alam Shah by winning the King George, defeating Suleimani, and another three-year-old in third, Chris Kin, followed then by Bolineric in fourth, Felbrav in fifth, in sixth is Warsan, in seventh Nayef, he couldn't go on in the straight. In eighth is Millenary, tried to come from last, in ninth is the pacemaker Isdaham, in tenth is Victory Moon. The last couple there coming in the stragglers. 12, Alam Shah, the winner at 13 to 2, second number nine, Sudamani, 9 to 2. Chris Kin was third at seven to two, Nair for three to one favourite.